Let's get more from Katavan Gorgistani in Washington. The big question, of course, Katavan, being what does this mean for Donald Trump? Well, it uh, simply put means that Donald Trump and uh, his uh, accounting firm will now have to release uh, those tax returns over about eight years that the district attorney uh, of Manhattan, uh, Cyrus Vance, is requesting as part of uh, that grand jury investigation into hush money uh, that was allegedly paid by Donald Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, to two women uh, who uh, claimed that they had extramarital affairs with the former uh, president though uh, Donald Trump has always uh, denied both the affairs and that any hush money uh, was paid. So that is uh, the key of uh, the investigation. What the Supreme Court basically uh, has done is rebuffed twice Donald Trump's claims not to release uh, those uh, tax returns back. In the summer of 2020, uh, the uh, Donald Trump's lawyers had argued that Donald Trump had uh, absolute immunity as a president from uh, releasing uh, those documents as part of a criminal investigation. At the time, the Supreme Court said, no, you do not have absolute immunity, but it threw it back to the lower courts, basically giving the option to Donald Trump, like any American citizen to uh, try to contest that subpoena on other grounds. And that's what uh, the lawyers did. They were this time arguing uh, that the subpoena was too broad, that it was uh, too long as far as time, as far as geography, uh, all of that, and saying that it really amounted to political harassment. This time, uh, the Supreme Court basically said, uh, we don't want to hear it. Uh, we feel that this claim uh, has no grounds and threw it back to the ruling of the lower court, which means that the subpoena will be able to happen. Donald Trump will have to hand over those tax returns. That doesn't mean that those tax returns will be released to the public because there is grand jury secrecy. So it will be contained to that grand jury investigation. That said, it could be useful because we're seeing that this investigation into hush money payments could be broadening. The DA might be looking into other financial crimes, possibly tax fraud, and obtaining those eight years of tax returns uh, could bring uh, evidence that could support or not that a further investigation from the Manhattan District Attorney. Katavanda, thank you for that.